So, um, I did a little bit more research, and theoretically speaking, we did finish Thelda last stream. Theoretically. The manual says that there are only six dungeons. So, we, we can't reasonably expect there to be a seventh one. Um, and given it's fitting in 128K on an old home computer, maybe that's accurate. Um, the old Coco discs have about 160K per side. I don't know how they broke that down, but there's no disc activity during the actual game, so I guess it all has to fit in memory. And I've made another discovery. You know all that time I, meant I took making a screenshot map? Yeah, that was a waste of time. I should have just pulled this out. So, I was mistaken. The Zelda, the, the map for Thelda is not the Legend of Zelda map turned upside down. It's actually the Legend of Zelda map rotated 180 degrees. I could have saved myself two hours. But in the interests of certainty, there's still a few things I want to check out with Thelda. So before we move on to something else, let's go back and check a few things. For one thing, I'm really interested to find out if you can actually beat the game without getting the entire set of Life Force Crystals. Because, well, you saw, for, you saw for yourselves, you can walk straight into the final dungeon without gathering the rest of the Life Force Crystals. I almost called them Triforce again. No, no, no. Life Force. Um, and all the way up to the final boss without any kind of lock or key mechanic. Well, I mean, apart from the keys, which I already had the key for. So let's see how this all goes. And it's a valid run. Uh, I don't know if you notice the scenery behind me has changed, but we've moved my desk. I have a whole new desk now. The old behemoth is gone. Um, trying to get a bit better lighting going on here so I'm not quite so red all the time. Bang. So I am just going to keep my NES Atlas open next to me. Because I think it's going to be real handy. So let's just make sure everything is working now. All right. Good, good. And one other thing. We still have not figured out if the flute actually does anything. I'm beginning to suspect not. Oh, goodness. Yeah. So I made a very bad mistake earlier today. I was sitting on the couch with my 3DS and I'm like, I've got about 10 bucks in my in my eShop account. I think I'll just download the ROM for Zelda. I mean, why not? And it is hard to come back to this after you've been playing the real thing. Oh my god. Okay. Hello, ghosts. Hi. Hello. So yeah, first things first, we're going to check out level six again. No, go away. Oh my gosh. Oh, hang on a sec. 
Oh, son of a... So because I didn't die between finishing the last two dungeons and the end of the game, I never saved my progress. Which means I don't have the proper sword or the upgraded shield. Screw it, Leroy Jenkins. I was sure, I was sure that last week, I knew it didn't save the two crystals, but I thought it would have saved the other stuff. Oh. I am a fool for having expectations of Felda. Go away. Just go away. Oh, some magic. That's something. Oh, bloody heck. Because thinking it over, and yeah, I've been spending a little too much time thinking about this game. But thinking it over, if you wanted to do a speedrun of this game, it all comes down to whether or not you can finish the game by finishing this level specifically first. Or out of order, I guess, would be... Oh yeah, oh, he's going to walk straight into my face as soon as I unpause. Retreat! Okay, that's better. Because if you can beat the game without having to get all the Life Force Crystals, then the speedrun for this game becomes pretty obvious. All you really need to beat the game is the Plank and the Magic Key. That's pretty much it. You never have to go for anything else in this dungeon. You just need the Plank and the Key. And I guess the candle, if you don't want to have to memorize room layouts. Oh god, go away. Go away. Boy, I'm glad this thing emulates two button joysticks. The original Tandy had one joystick button. That was weird grammar. One joystick button. And yeah, if I didn't have that, I would have to hit the keyboard for every secondary item. Okay. World's most useless staircase warp. I don't understand why that's better than just having the rooms connect. But then again, this game is stupid. Oh, hi Snowfox. Uh, yeah, I actually just started like about a month ago. I haven't been streaming for very long, but I discovered that this game existed while I was in the depths of a uh, deep and misguided Coco nostalgia rip. And, uh, well, here we are. Okay, so... I'm going to waste a little bit of magic here, because I'm... You saw this last week. You all know that this happened, but let's just go through it again. See if I have enough of the mapping spell, because I'm not going to cast any other spells while I'm down here. And... Okay. This room is apparently not on the map. 
Where is it? I don't know. I want to, oh, the, I'm still, it still floors me, no pun intended, that the plank is the one thing that remains persistent in the world. I, I just can't. Okay, so for, for those of us just joining in, uh, what this is, this is actually the second most shameless ripoff on the Color Computer 3. Um, the Color Computer 3 was the well, third iteration uh, of a series of computers, starting with the TRS-80 Color Computer back in like 80, I'm going to say 1980-ish. Building off the branding of their TRS-80 line, uh, which had a Zilog 80 processor, hence Zilog 80, uh, they built a machine off the much more powerful 6809 processor and called it the TRS-80 Color Computer. It was a capable enough little system for its time, but it had some crippling sound and graphics uh, limitations. And it went through various iterations over the years until you end up at 1986 when you bring out the Coco 3, which has graphics and which has graphics capabilities probably arguably superior to the Commodore 64 or the Commodore 128, but still had the same sound problems. It wasn't a well-known system. It wasn't a well-developed system either. And this game, in particular, uh, was put up by a, a company called Sundog Systems, programmed by Eric, a wolf, and is a shameless, shameless ripoff of The Legend of Zelda, to the point where, as demonstrated, the map is basically The Legend of Zelda's map rotated 180 degrees. And it's bad. It's really bad. So with that quick recap under our belts, um, the map is completely broken. I'm going to walk through this door and I'm up now. So spoilers, this is the final boss. Your most dangerous foe. It helps if I actually hit the correct button to stab him, but I was distracted. Oh, this is going to go badly. Um, hmm. No, I'm just going to take the death, guys. And to recap, the reason that I take the death is because the very first time that I played this game, um, I made a fatal mistake uh, in assuming that, you know, it would work. And I got my fool ass killed at the same time as I killed the boss, which caused a glitch that meant that the door to the final room never spawned. And so that is why we are always very, very careful to just throw up our arms and give up if we get too low on life against the boss. Oh, and for the life of me right now, I can't remember where that last sword was hidden. Hmm. I think it's in a spot near the last dungeon. Like at the very least, I feel like I need to go find that sword before we make the uh, the last attempt. Cause without it, I don't know how long it's going to take to kill the final boss. I mean, he's not difficult to beat or anything, but insurance would help. And I kind of want to get enough magic to at least have a little extra life. 
I know we're missing stuff too, because the magic should the magic should be keeping track with the hearts, I think. But like honestly, who knows with this game anymore? <laughs> like I'm reasonably sure that what happened last time we played this game was the ending, such as it was. And I'll tell you my reasoning for that in a little bit, but it mostly comes down to, by this point in the Coco development spent time, nobody cared anymore. <laughs> Well, lots of money. Not that I need money. You know the one one thing that I've never done in this game? I've never actually bought the life potions. Like, ever. They just... haven't been necessary. Yeah, this, there's just, there is just nothing about this game online. Like... You would think, given their nature, that Nintendo would have sued Sundog Systems out of existence and we would never have seen this game. But apparently, apparently obscurity was its savior because it just never crossed their radar. And I'm guessing with the, with the differences in mechanics and the amount of time that's passed, there's really not much that Nintendo could do about it now, if they even cared. Like, I am legitimately the only streamer of this game. Possibly ever. I think the only other person who might have done it at some point would be, um... Like, there's one really dedicated Coco streamer uh, called... Original gamer Stevie Stroh, who has a lot of color computer related content on his on his streams, but I don't think he's done this one. Prior to this, the only other evidence I'd ever seen this game existed uh, was one video by Retro High Game Lord, who plays about as far as the end of the first dungeon and then just stops. Um, is this a fan game? No. No. This was, this was commercially sold. What? I have to beat Dungeon 5 before I can get that sword. Okay. Good to know. Still get that shield if I can find it. Whee! I think I remember where the shield is. I mean, this is a this is a fan game in the sense that someone who was a fan of the Legend of Zelda looked at this and said, "Hey, I could totally make that for my own computer." Kind of, sort of, not really. I don't want to beat level five yet because I still want to test out whether we can finish the game without going there. But I do totally want to get the shield just for extra insurance. Because the next level of shield... Boop. The next level of shield will give us just enough defense, I think, to power through the boss. Oh, thank you, Snow Fox. It is kind of impressive that they managed to build this whole thing from by themselves and to cram it into the confines of a color computer three. 
I'm not sure that excuses some of the really egregious design problems, but it is... It's something. And yeah, if there's one thing that the color computer was known for even before this game came out, it was blatant commercial ripoffs of other titles. The color computer was like the wild west of the computer world. There was no law there. It's actually kind of hilarious because there's a, there are a few select Coco sites out there who've given themselves over to archiving the system and talking about its history, and some of those sites take a very hard line on piracy. Despite the fact that most of the games that they're, you know, respecting the copyright for... There's my shield! Um, now I just need to die. Because I don't want to have to grab that again. Please kill me. Oh, you're going to take forever. Where's those little brown dudes with the swords? Yeah, you. You. You're much, much quicker to kill. Go ahead, make me dead. Yeah, the, the sword doesn't reach out, and the sword doesn't reach out, the candle doesn't produce a flame. Like, there are enemies that throw projectiles, but you don't get a sword beam. And I have on occasion stabbed the enemy projectiles. I don't think I've ever destroyed one, but I have stabbed them before. Okay, we have the white shield. Um, hmm. We can just make up our own stuff here. I'm, I'm going to call the white shield the Mithril Shield. But we're going to spell it with two L's, so that we're totally not ripping off Tolkien. Yeah, that, that, that sounds good to me. Mithril. Okay. There's a full Legend of Zelda on the TI-83+. Plus. I know next to nothing about the Texas Instruments machines. Um, so I'd be super interested to know about that. Now I have to now I have something to look up after this is over. I don't think I'd try to stream it because well I have absolutely no personal connection to that system, but it's interesting to know it exists. Is it a point-for-point -point copy, or is it something more akin to this? Oh. A graphing calculator. What the hell? Not going to waste my time with the mapping spell this time. Just why? Oh, yeah. I should probably... I don't have these rooms memorized, so I should probably actually deign to use the candle. And... Can we just... Can we just take a moment to appreciate how incredibly derpy the magic key looks in this game. I mean, at least in the Legend of Zelda, it had like a nose. In this one's, it's just kind of, uh, kind of a, kind of got a 
Homer Simpson overbite thing going on. Anyway, I'm rambling. I kind of have to. There's nothing to listen to in this game. Ah! You son of a... So, as I said, having played Legend of Zelda earlier today, there are certain fine points about the original game that I've come to appreciate. Like the fact that when you enter a room, you stand in the doorway, and the enemies don't walk into the doorway. So that you don't end up getting immediately bum-rushed the second you walk into the room. Jesus! Oh my god! Little dragons had too much caffeine. Oh yeah, and the menu is the menuing is twice as fast in Legend of Zelda and works. <laughs> All right, come on, come on, come on. I really should try to get at least one more magic jar just so that I can have a life spell in case I need it. But I should also try to take as little damage as possible so that I don't have to. I really don't want a repeat of that last run at the boss. But, oh. Some of that is out of my hands, though, because these guys, I just... To a degree, The Legend of Zelda has this same problem. Right? Enemies move in slightly random patterns, and can can bum rush you if you're not careful. But they're not this fast. And you have so many other options for combat. Like something I'm really hurting for right now is the boomerang. I miss the boomerang so much right now. Cuz I'll admit it, I'm I'm a scrub at Zelda. I have to stun the enemies before I'll walk up to them. Because I know when they're stunned, they're not going to suddenly jump me. Uh, would one of you people please drop a heart, or two, or a magic jug, or something? Money! That's completely useless. Oh, screw it. I'm just going to end up losing life if I try to grind for hearts. Ah. Oh, these hyper-caffeinated snow dragons. My god. Snow dragons? Bro dragons. Bro dragons! That was the word I was looking for. They're actually a small version of the first stage boss, which looks like a dragon who's doing this. Uh, you can't even see my chest on camera. Why did I try to do that? Okay. I've got enough for one magic spell, and I've got plenty of hearts and the shield. I'm just going to stand here and let him walk into my sword. That seems to be the most effective strategy. Well, he died. And does this complete the game? It doesn't! Well, shoot! I'm legitimately surprised! So yeah, you do actually have to get all the pieces of the life force to finish the game. <laughs> well, I mean, it doesn't completely negate my speedrun points, but it does mean that we have to finish each dungeon, which is a mild pain in the butt. It's not a mild pain in the butt. Oh, damn it. 
Uh, okay. So. Two things. Uh, it would appear that when you get these items, like the shield and the swords, is keyed to which specific life force crystal you have. And since I've beaten level 6 but not level 5, I can't get this magic sword. So that's fun. Um, and as to... Yeah, as just what Snow Fox is saying, yes, you can sequence break in the original Legend of Zelda, and I do on a on a fairly regular basis, just just for the fun of it. My preferred route to go through the game, because again I'm a scrub, uh, is to farm for is to is to farm until I get some bombs, grab two heart containers, and get the white sword before I even go to level one. Because once you've done that, basically everything from everything up until about level four becomes completely trivial to kill. Uh, that having been said, actual Zelda has how can I put this? The actual Legend of Zelda has like design has things designed to keep the game challenging even if you break it um, good example in this game in Felda uh, we found level five long before we ever found level two and in so doing uh, managed to get a hold of the magic key like almost right from the beginning of the game I think we'd beaten, like, level 1 and gotten an item out of level 3 at that point. You're not supposed to get that... You're not supposed to get that item until the end of level 5. In Legend of... In, in, sorry, Quest for Felda. And you can just walk straight into that dungeon, walk past all the enemies, grab the key, and the rest of the game is just broken wide open. You can go wherever you want, you don't need to do anything. Well, that was the most useless waste of a transporter I've ever done. Oh, uh, well. I think I'll transport two whole screens to the left. Yay, randomness. And, in addition to that, you don't have to beat enemies in a room to make items appear. If there's a key in the room, you can just walk into the room, take the key, and leave. Whereas Zelda puts enemies you have to defeat in your path. Um, it has certain enemies carry the key. There are little itty-bitty mini-challenges built in to keep you from just cakewalking to the end of the game. If I try to go to level 8 to get the magic key to break, level, to, to break Legend of Zelda over my knee, I'm gonna die! Because if you walk into that dungeon at the beginning of the game, you've got eight bombs and no less than two locked rooms full of blue knights between you and the key, and that's not even counting the fact that at the boss of level two, yeah, that the boss of level two is in there twice as well. Like, it's a brutal run, and you can't just skip any of it. This game doesn't have those keys. It doesn't have those lock mechanics. It's just straight, you just walk straight past everything. And there's almost no point in grinding in this game either, because in the early going, you're going to die so frequently and so often, and your keys don't persist between lives. You die in this game, you lose all your keys, you lose all your bombs, and you lose all your coins. It's a brutal, brutal game. Now, level five, where are you in relation to me now? Yeah, I'm st yeah, I'm looking at the Hmm. Hmm. 
I'm actually not sure if level 5 is in the same place in this game as it is in Zelda, now that I look at it again. But I'm going to operate under that assumption and head there. You know, I'd kind of been avoiding making the, the observation that this is essentially the Dark Souls for the Coco, but it kind of is, really. It's terribly brutal and very unforgiving. Hmm. Sorry, I'm lost again. Oh, I see where I am now. Yeah, I messed up. Okay. Ah, okay. So it's not a completely one-to-one -one copy. Those rooms don't connect in Zelda. <laughs> well, as I observe, observed, I've observed a couple of times as we've gone through this, that the designer of this game, Mr. Eric A. Wolf, um, was very was probably keenly aware that he had created a deeply unfair monstrosity. Oh heck! Because there are no like. There's no less than five different ways to recover your life. You can find hearts by killing enemies, which is not super helpful, because it's hard to kill the enemies. But as you go on, you also get a Ring of Regeneration that, re that restores your health. Uh, you can get a Life Spell, which enables you to cast a, you know, magic to... Okay... Yeah, level 5 is nowhere near where I thought it was. We're just gonna go wandering for a bit, I think. And this is the way back to level 2. Which is good, because we found level 5 trying to find level 2. Oh yeah, I remember now. Whoop. <laughs> Where was I? You've got your life potion. You get. You can get the life potions, although I've never bothered. You get the ring of regeneration. You get the life spell. You get the hearts. And I'm missing one. I know I'm missing one. Ah, well. Whatever. The point is, you have a lot of options for restoring your life in this game. And especially in the early going, you really, really need them. Okay, so... Oh, heck. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we haven't... Hmm. I have a bad feeling. I have a really bad feeling. I have a bad feeling that if I actually finish the game in this dungeon... Okay, I'll take it. I don't think I need it, but I'll take it. I just have a bad feeling that if I finish the game in this dungeon... Like, I might have put the game into a soft lock state that I have to start over again from. What I really should do is I should make a, is like I should make multiple copies of this disk image so that I can have multiple backups of my save, which is something I honestly should have thought of before now, but I just didn't get around to it. And 
how many presses is it going to take me there to get down to the magic spells? Oh yeah, this dungeon. Okay, yeah, I've been this way. Oh, they just, they repeated a room, that's what they did. I say they, this was, this was one guy. And I have to be careful, because as, as we've proven in... Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Forgot about that one. Okie doke. I'm going back to Retro Fox from a little while ago. I'm Pretty sure that we've already tried the flute at that pond. But it can't hurt to try. Plus, I can... I've never actually used Magic Thunder, either. One, two, three, there we go. Let's just see what it does. Absolutely nothing to these guys, apparently. No, I don't even think it did much damage to them. Okay. Well, that was a waste of time. Wait, did it, did it damage them? How long? How many? How many hits do these guys normally take? Ah, they're running all over the place. Never mind. Ah! Goddamn rabbits! Are we still going, guys? Someone's saying their net dropped. Alright, let's get rid of you guys to start with. A little demonstration of plank technique. All right. Like, at this point, I just want to walk around and, and use the Thunder spell at all of these weird places. I mean, I'm at seven magic. Seven. That doesn't make sense. Ah! Oh, you... You son of a... Like, 
With the exception of that one tree that I could cut down with the hammer, uh, I've found just about nothing I can interact with on the overworld. I've found there's there's no doors that I can bomb. Uh, does, have I tried your no? I have not tried some of your medicine. Ugh. I really don't feel like trying your medicine. There are so many other better ways to get life energy back. Oh no, I have trapped myself in the water. This was the only other thing I could think of that the flute might possibly do. Nope. Nope, that's not what it does either. The clue says that you should use the flute when passage over water seems impossible. Oh my god, move to the tornado, thank you. And... Okay, that works. I so far haven't found that spot, so yeah, we could look for that. Um, yeah, the the oct the cubert looking octorox are a feature of this game. It, it's Cubert with who has. It, it's a Cubert who has gotten a very wrong idea of how you're supposed to snort cocaine. Oh come on! I don't know if I'm going to live long enough to get to the ferry, but I'm gonna try. So let's see. Uh, the mysteries of this game so far. We've never found a use for the flute. Um and. Unless I'm seriously overestimating things, I think we're missing a magic meter, a, a, a notch on the magic meter. I think hearts is about as max as it's going to get, because I can't think of anyone, I can't think of anywhere to find them. And there's a whole bunch of old people on the map who do absolutely nothing. And unless they're part of, a, unless they're part of the who gets this letter puzzle, and I'm just not supposed to give anything to them, then I don't know what their purpose is at all. Because there was that one old dude where we tried to give him the letter, and he's like, this letter isn't for me, and he just absolutely bombarded us with fireballs. But... No, we know that they're not. That's not it because we tried giving the letter to all those people and they didn't respond at all. Much less respond with violence. So, I have no idea what they're doing there. Uh, Snow Fox. Uh, yes, I am recording my videos. Um, my little record light is pulsing. Thank you for making me double check. Um, and I put them up on YouTube more or less unedited right after. Uh, I might break this one into two videos because I'm planning to stop playing Felda at some point tonight. Uh, and that's the old lady who originally gave me the letter. She's not going to do anything for me. Um, I might split this into two, because at some point I'm going to stop playing Thelda and start playing In the Hall of the King. Um, oh, you know what? I think I might have just figured out where I'm supposed to use this. Again, assuming that this is operating on Legend of Zelda map logic. Which is a dangerous assumption, but... Nope. Um, okay. I'm honestly really super new to Twitch, uh, Snow Fox, so I don't know how to do those things. 
Okay, now, now I'm really confused. Hmm. Let me just get the... Okay. So there's got to be a room to the south here. Which means there has to be a room to the east there. But I don't think I've ever been in it. Or if I have, I don't remember what it is. Oh, right, right. They just... Yeah. It's one of the old guys. On your dashboard in the channel tab of settings. Okay, I'll, I'll look into that. Um, my extremely cursory look at that stuff when I first signed up didn't seem to do it, but again, I just, I don't know these things yet. So yeah, this, this old guy has never done or said anything to help, as far as I can remember. He didn't have a shield for me, he didn't have a sword for me, and he didn't get violent when I handed him a letter, so I don't know what he's there for. Nope. Well, he doesn't feel the thunder. Uh, as it stands right now, Snowfox, I'm just, um... As it stands right now, I'm basically recording this uh, in Streamlabs. There. Mm, plank you. <laughs> Hit him with the hammer. Okay. Why not? I've already cast Thunder on him and tried to stab him multiple times. I might as well exploit all the different possibilities of violence against the elderly I have at my disposal. Oh, wait. I'll probably have to take the plank off his face first. Oh, Kooky, you found the manual. Yeah. I've been over that manual a couple of times. I'm still sort of floored by the fact that they refer to this as the overground. Which not only sounds stupid, but... I mean, wouldn't overground imply that this it was an area above the ground? And not just the part that isn't a dungeon? But yeah, I guess he didn't want to call it Overworld and Underworld for, you know, fear of the big N. gonna play the flute, even though it's perfectly possible to get across that with, with the plank. God, even with the new desk, I'm still trying to lean on this one arm. Need to fix that. So, this would be... This would be the lower... This would be the southwest corner of the map. And yeah, it's a really strange and unique looking room, and it seems to have absolutely nothing to do with anything. Yeah, I, I can't burn cactuses down. Uh. 
And I'm not sure that I put much stock in what the manual tells me anyway. Since the manual told me that I would need to use I would need to use the hammer to smash rocks that were in my way. And there are no rocks that you can smash with the hammer. There's a tree you can smash with the hammer, but all it gives you is access to a shop. Alrighty, that's where we get the white sword. I do freaking love the plank. Okay, yeah, fair. The Legend of Zelda manual is completely useless. I agree. The Legend of Zelda manual was also translated from Japanese by people who didn't speak English. So, it has an excuse. Like, this guy... This guy really doesn't. All right, I'm just about at my limit for pointless wandering right now, so I'm probably going to switch over to In the Hall of the King in just a minute or two. I don't know, like... At this point, at, at this point, my ultimate dream would be to find somebody who's willing to go into this game and decompile the assembly code to find out what, if anything, the flute does, or if there's really an ending, you know, something. Um, but at this point, yeah, I think we're pretty much done. But, you know what, in the interests of having some kind of proper end to this, let's go back and beat level 5. It's probably going to break my save file, which means I'll have to start the game over again from the beginning the next time we try to run of this, but... Why not? Oh, come on, Cubert, just die. Thank you. Here? Oh. Oh, that pier. That's level one. Honestly, there are points where, like, bogging, where if, sorry, where was I going with this? Like, if local recording with OBS slows things down, there, there are points where that would be, like, welcome. Yeah, mastering your plank technique in this game. <laughs> Once you have the plank, you can just ignore mazes. You can walk through walls. I don't, because I keep forgetting it's there. Because why would something so game-breaking exist? 
but yeah. Oh man. All right. Let's switch over. Let's do bombs. And one, two, there we go. I can try to get the mapping going in here. Oh. Game is making me cry. Well, I guess I needed the plank instead. Ah, no. That's where the magic key was. I was actually hoping to try and find the compass, honestly. It doesn't help much because just because two rooms are next to each other on this map doesn't mean they actually connect the way they're supposed to. But it was a thought. Come on! <sighs> There's a word I learned, I think I learned it from Bos from Brosentia. Collision detection. And that's absolutely what this game has. Collision detection. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna finish the game by getting the last piece of the life force out of order. And if the game soft locks and I turn blue, then we know we've actually finished the game. Yeah, here's another thing I keep doing in the hopes that something will happen, but like thus far we found exactly one place in the game where it does anything. Okay, no. Ah. Okay, just a sec. Forgive my tears on camera, guys. I think it's just... Pollen's really bad today. Like, if the plank wasn't completely broken, this would theoretically be impossible. Nope. Oh, worth a shot. Whew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Key to magic, etc., etc. You know you already gave me that, right? Oh, right. I'm not using the plank right now. I'm getting a little tired, and this game is making me a little cranky. <laughs> get, get, ugh. Oh my gosh, even the menuing in this game is terrible. That's where it's been hiding. What the hell is the point of giving me that this late in the dungeon? Well, I mean, apart from highlighting how these rooms don't connect in any logical fashion. Okay, uh, let's very cautiously try to kill a few of these guys to see if we can get some extra hearts. I don't want to have to come back in here. Or magic. Magic would be good. No, I'm just going to give you coins. That's all we're going to give you coins. The Easter Bunny doesn't want to give you life. Wasn't the whole point of the Easter Bunny that he that he died for our sins so that we could have life? 
Why aren't you guys giving me life? Oh man, I really am tired. Come on, come on. Give me your delicious eggs. Oh. Alright, come here. Come here. Ugh. Now you're gonna go all the way up there. Come on down here. It's nice down here. There you go. Suck some wall. Oy vey. Oh, come on. Do I have enough energy for the life spell right now? Let's see. Yes. Okay. I thought it was more expensive than that for some reason. Okay, you are being a massive prick. Oh. Go away. There we go. Watch this. Okay, I'm going to exit this room to the right. I have gone left. Don't worry about it. This guy's even more of a pushover than I am. And now we'll go right to go down. <sighs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh man! I think that's even better than the real ending. Completely frozen? Oh yeah, it's completely frozen. <laughs> ah. And and that's quest for Thelda, everybody. <laughs> oh. I don't know what I was expecting, but yeah, that's yeah. So, right now, this save file is now broken. <laughs> we finished level 6, and completing level 6 before completing the other dungeons breaks things. This means two things. One, it means I need to start a new save file. Two, and possibly more important... There's a possibility, it's a really unlikely possibility, but there's a possibility that the actual ending from last time froze because we got the crystals out of order. <sighs> Which means that I have to do a in-order, non sequency break run of this game to find out if there's really an ending which means I'm not done with Felda yet. God help me, I'm not done with Felda yet. <laughs> I wish there was beer in this mug, but it's just water. Okay. It's ten after nine, and... I think it's time to switch over to In the Hall of the King.